Hello and welcome back to the course on Power BI. In the previous tutorial, we created this wonderful map and we learned how to create the profit margin calculated measure or a new measure. And today we're going to go ahead and create a scatter plot. So let's go and dive straight into it. We're going to create a new page and we're going to select this visualization, scatter chart. And, and now we just need to select what we want on the X and Y axis. So on the x-axis, we want sales. And on the y-axis, we want profit. Let's find profit. Yes. And as you can see, we only have one element because, once again, as we discussed in uh, the tutorial about aggregation, granularity, and level of detail, we haven't specified for Power BI at which level of detail or which level of granularity we want this visualization to be uh, displayed or portrayed. Uh, all we have here is the measures, right? So the items or the uh, numeric values. And numeric values or numeric columns, they get aggregated. They don't actually specify the level of aggregation at which you want your visualization to be uh, portrayed. To specify the level of aggregation, you need to use categorical variables and other non-numeric variables. So how do we do that? Well. Um, in our case, we want uh, we have to tell Power BI at which level do we want to see this. So do we want to see the scatter plot at region level? Let's try that. Let's put it into details over here. And uh, see, now you, you can see that we've got the region, the north, the south, and uh, the central. Well, we don't really use region, so let's get rid of that. Maybe let's replace it with state, right? Uh, or with country. Let's start with country. Put in country. Now we've got a, um, a little circle for every country. Or we can, uh, instead of country, we could do city. Then we'll have way more circles. Or um, Again, this is pulled in the geography, and it's still at country level, so we can uh, drill into the city level like that. But that's not what we're after. The scatter plot that we actually want to uh, show uh, should display our customers, so that from the scatter plot, we can identify which of our customers are the most profitable or the least profitable customers for us. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to take customer name and drag it into details. And as you can see that, right away, we've got this wonderful um, scatter plot right away. And uh, now we're going to add some additional information here. Uh, we can already tell that uh, by the profit, we can see that some customers are uh, not profitable at all. So they're made, the transactions they've made uh, have resulted in negative profit. Some have resulted in positive profit. But now what we're going to add is we're going to add the profit margin. And we've already calculated this uh, measure. And as you remember previously, we used profit margin. So I'm just going to go back here. We use profit margin um, when we are aggregating by geography, right? So we use profit margin at the level of country or state or city. And because profit margin is a calculated measure rather than a calculated um, column, it gets automatically updated to the level of granularity of our visualization. Well, the good news is that it doesn't have to be a geographic um, level of granularity. We, it, we're not limited to specifying just geographies and drilling into either state, city, or country, and then profit margin will be recalculated. We can still use the same exact profit margin, the same exact formula, the same exact uh, um, calculated measure we have here, in this visualization where we are specifying the level of granularity based on the customer name. So if you just look at the formula up at the top, you'll see that sum of profit, uh, order breakdown profit, so sum of profit divided by sum of sales, nowhere here in the calculation does it say that we need to deal with geography. It just says that take the sum of the profit at the level of granularity of your visualization. So in this case, per customer. So sum up the profits per every single customer and customers sometimes make several orders and orders contain, contain several items. So sum up all of the items for all of the, oh, sum up the profit for all of the items and all of the orders for, uh, for example, for this customer, right? For this customer, George Dawson. And then let's go back to that formula. formula. And then take uh, sum up all of the sales for all of the items and all of the orders for that same customer, irrespective of country, irrespective of date, irrespective of everything else, because nothing else is here. We only have customer name, and then just divide one by the other. And that's exactly what we're going to. Uh, that's exactly what's going to happen. And that's what Power BI is going to do for us. And uh, we're just going to use this field. We're just going to take this field and put it on color saturation, and voila, 
uh, already we have something. So now we're just going to make it uh, even more obvious which customers are um, have a uh, have a positive profit margin for us and which have a negative profit margin. And so we're going to take data colors and again we're going to just uh, minimum red, maximum that same blue that we used last time. Uh, this one is the neon version of that blue. Um, let's try maybe this blue, too light. All right. <laughs> so again, data science about it's all about the colors, right? It's all about the conveying the insights and making uh, aesthetic presentations. All right. So there we see already something interesting. We can see that uh, we've got customers up here with positive profit margins, right? So the greater the profit margin, the better. Meaning that at the same level of expenses, by doing business with a customer with a higher profit margin, for instance, here we've got a profit margin of 0 0.34, and with this customer it's uh, 0 0.33. So with this customer, uh, by con having the same amount of expenses, we're going to, uh, or and conducting, by, by making the same amount of sales, we're going to make a higher amount of profit with George Dawson than with Harrison Cook. Um, and here we've got some uh, customers whose profit is in the negative, and uh, it is uh, just it just makes sense that their profit margin is also negative, uh, because profit can be positive and negative, whereas sales uh, can only be positive. So if you divide a negative by a positive, you will get a negative. And uh, right away from here, we can tell you know which are our um, customers, like good customers, which whom we should continue doing business with and who are the customers that are costing our organization money and maybe we should um, you know, like uh, try to improve that relationship and see what products they're buying. Maybe we should uh, substitute those products or maybe we should find better ways of sourcing those products or maybe we should just stop doing business with those customers if um, it is costing our business uh, money and if we can afford to do that from a reputational standpoint. So some decisions have to be made, but basically the insights are here uh, for us to uh, take action upon. And there we go, that's how we create a scatter plot in Power BI. And moreover, in this tutorial, we also recapped on how calculated measures work. So hopefully that uh, really drives the point home and that you're getting quite comfortable with calculated measures. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial. Until then, happy analyzing.